me the verse number in one Samuel, in first Samuel chapter 15 verse 3 God says to go and destroy the Amalekites to kill every male every female every child and every infant you see how the word separates the words child and infant because God in the Bible knows the difference between child and infant an infant is someone who's less than the age of this little child here okay. because an infant is someone who's two years old old or less how can your God can sanction you the then? killing of an infant you tell me you'll never Excuse find me. such a verse in the Excuse Quran me. no you children killing me. in the Quran none you only me. in the Bible you tell me why Islam today okay I'm going to add just what I said I'm going to attack asking, Islam again no, as you always I'm do asking, can, we, can we address what I'm, he just said I'm please I'm asking you a question yeah after you, you address Muslim, my question you would want to tell me the answer I would I would address his and you're a Christian you would want to address the point I made Islam Okay, when these people blow people up and when these people well, can you do address his point, please? I'm talking to this gentleman. I know, but we why, was we, we, you why, changed the subject. Why? I'll come to that. No, we're talking about violence, okay? Yeah, in the and Bible. Say, in the Bible. Okay, you have to show me from the Quran. Any the child Quran. killing in the Quran? Why no. Only in the Bible. Why? Things from the Quran. Why do they always do that? Who? I'm asking you. Oh, you're talking about the free groups. I'm asking you to enlighten me yes. so that I can understand yes. better why, they why it violence. is that they shout Quranic verses, why they are very violent, and they trace it all back to Muhammad and the Quran or the Surah yeah. or, the, or the Sahih Bukhari. I'm asking you to, to tell me because if you don't tell me, how am I ever going to know? Oh, nice try. By the way, are you going to address my point I made? No, I'm asking you. Yeah, you. I will. I will answer your question after you address my point. Okay. Why does the Bible? Why is the Bible the only holy book which talks about killing I'll children and infants? It, I'll okay, it. please do go on. God. Okay. He he was looking after the Israelites after he took them out of exile from slavery in Egypt, and they were like young children that needed to be protected. You know, they were going to go into Canaan, and there were all these giants there, right? So God was protecting them. Now, God is a, he, he can, he is the author of life, okay? And there are some killings that we do not understand. I don't know why there were some people that were killed in the Old Testament. I do know that there are also verses, like in, in the book of Jonah, where God shows his mercy towards a very, very evil people in Nineveh. He was going to destroy the whole of Nineveh because they were very sinful. The Assyrians were very sinful. They were skinning people. They were, they were killing people. They were a really bad race of people. And he sent Jonah to tell them to repent, otherwise he was going to destroy their town. Now Jonah tried to run away from God, okay? And God pursued him, he chased him down, and he got, I mean, we all know the story of Jonah. And Jonah went back and he got the people of Nineveh, he told the message of God, repent. God is it's, it's very, he's slow to anger and swift in mercy. And those people repented and he did not destroy that town. Okay. So what is your answer basically? Why did God destroy those people of Amalekite? Okay, well, maybe those, maybe the Israelites needed protection from a certain group of people. I, I, I haven't looked into it enough. Okay, so you don't know the answer. What about you? God is sovereign and, and he can... How is it just to kill an infant? I'm talking to my friend, not you. Oh, okay, go on. I thought this was a discussion between the three of us. That was rude. Okay, carry on. I'm like you then. Aren't carry on. Are you going to respond to the question I asked? Because you see, this is what happens. When I ask about the Bible, yes, you're you saying, you're, you're either you saying, the yeah, because I'm going to answer after you give me the answer I seek. He did say that. All right? So do you have the answer? Because she's saying, I don't know, in a way. Do you have the answer? Why were the Amalekite infants killed? Children at less than two years old massacred in cold blood at the hand of the Jewish That's people. That's really disturbing. You know what? I and it's in the holy I book. Is a lot of what I found about Islam is very disturbing. Sure is what Islam. Islam. You always no, without addressing that. Fair enough, but you always. But you always this, this I've, 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 I've been well. listening. I've, okay. Well, I mean, you haven't given but, him the chance to address that. But you, could you address what you've well, been I'm, asked? Well, I, I'm not God, and I cannot speak for God. That's a cop okay. out, really. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I know. I know. I'm finished. finished. I, I cannot speak for God, but all I know is that He showed through the Bible a progression yeah. of who He is. He is holy, just and righteous, okay? And he will not tolerate sin, okay? So you don't know in other words? 
No, don't interrupt me. You asked me to answer. I'm answering. That's not an answer. It's a cop out, like you said. There's no cop out. It is a cop out. Can I answer what? You, you know what? It's not a clearing. It's not a clearing. Concise. Wait, let's let's answer. Let's answer. I, I, don't, I, don't, I tell you what. And he won't even let me finish. So you now, if you think I've finished, you answer okay. my question. You know what? In order to basically put you guys out of your misery, the Bible was, which if you would have asked me, which Bible was it is, it actually the answer is already there. Okay, have you got the Bible on you? Okay, the answer, the answer which I asked you is actually in that very verse. God tells you why he killed them. So do not beat around the bush when the answer is already there. Okay, anyway, anyway, I find it quite appalling that both of you tried to justify the killing of children. No, no. Is it I'm saying is wrong? I find it appalling. Is it I'm saying is wrong? You said. Do you see? You said you would answer. You have an answer. Was that? I will answer your question. No problem. No problem. After we have addressed this, you have an answer. Remember what I said. After I, after I address this, I'll answer. Remember that? He did say that. So but please, he hasn't. but uh, we haven't he, finished he yet. Hasn't he hasn't answered he it. He hasn't answer. because we're still and discussing that, that topic. Answer. Something called no patience. Answering. You need to have patience. We're, we're going to get there. We, we, Let we us address there. this, we're and then I'll answer your, your question. Don't worry. Don't, point Don't worry. Okay. okay bring, bring it up. Bring it up. It's in First Samuel chapter 15. Read from verse two. The answer is there. Yes. Go on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, yeah. First Samuel 15. Give me your phone, Ralvo. Oh, my God! I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. Thus said the Lord of hosts. I remember that which Amalek did to Israel, how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, but slay both man and woman. And Thank you. Is that the answer? So have you got the answer? It was basically for vengeance. So God killed those children and those babies and those women and those men. Yes, it is because it was for vengeance for what these people did to the Jewish people like 400 years ago. If you read the background of that particular verse, it will tell you that. Because when the Israelis, they came out from, from their exile, these Amalekites, maybe their forefathers 400 years ago, because that's, that incident happened like four centuries before that, when uh, they were told to go and massacre all the little babies that doesn't now you see just. this this to me is the vengeance Please of the people if you look at islam islam is not just. no you'll not find any baby well, killing that, in islam. that isn't that isn't just. show me any baby killing show me in the quran for i challenge that you. happened 400 years ago to take revenge no, 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 no. on on the on on a on, on a people 400 years later I, I'm, I'm just trying to be neutral here and trying to understand the argument to kill well, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't taken any sides. I'm listening yeah, to what you know, you're saying. You know, one, you know one, one thing that is really disturbing is that you actually got a smirk and a smile on your face. When this verse, no, 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 when this verse is, is, is actually, no, is, is, is barbaric. The gentleman say. It's barbaric. Hey, hey, I am smiling because he's talking, okay. not you, or not because of the Bible. So do you think that is right or wrong to just, kill babies? I am, you asked me a question, I'm answering Okay, go on, answer. Because of what he said. What did he say? I was listening to him. Actually, what he said okay, was about so, that verse. But you're trying to twist things. That's the trouble. In you're what way? You're trying to twist things. Now, now you see, which you know, way? the important thing here. The important thing here is that, here is that it is you who tried to twist it by, by trying to justify killing of children. Oh, not we me. Need, we not. need to know God. We need to know the truth about what he says. We know, need to know his word and what he wants us to do and how he wants us to do exactly. it. Can I, can I, sorry, can I just interrupt here? I, I mean, can I, sorry, and can that I is the reason interrupt. I always tell the Christians, do not say Trinity when it is not in the Bible. Because there's that is words, a truth. Words that are not in the, the concept Quran is not there. Show me the concept. Of the Trinity. Know, the Trinity is all over the Bible. I always hear that all over the Bible. You but they can never tell me right in the Bible. You said the word Trinity wasn't invented. Concept. Did you not hear? Concept yes, of the said, Trinity. Yeah, show me. You see it show me. Show me that. Show me one word. Show me one word. To, to know that it's wrong to kill. Have you read the Bible? Have you read the Bible? Yes. Then show you me where it is. Any religion I'm to so know that. If you look, <laughs> look. The this is what happens when we ask them to show us the concept. You know, you know they're able to point to us from the Quran. They're able to point us from the Quran where Muhammad was basically sins were forgiven from the past and present. But their own doctrine. Their own doctrine. They cannot show. You're not listening to me. I am. You like you unite your own I've got a verse. Yeah, yeah. You just anyway, you don't have the answer. Just say. You got a verse about what? Yeah. By the way, I'm going to respond to your earlier question, which you asked, which I said I will do after. 
Uh, now is the time. Because now we have address. Stop silence. Do you want him to answer? Stop telling other people to silence themselves. That's hypocritical. Do you want to hear? Yeah, you have to read your turn. You did have a question. No, because she has a question first. She has a question. She did have a question. Okay, do you have me to answer? 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 Do you have me which one first? Do Mary first out of No problem. I want to answer just what you said about the concept of the Trinity. And yes, please. And the verse that really spoke to me. Really. Go on, no problem. John 17. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Yes. That verse jumped out at me because there is no way that Jesus could not be God if he was not with God before the world was created. Which verse is that, by the way? John 17, verse 5. Verse 5. Now read verse 3. The one you missed. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Who is the one true God? God is Yahweh. Who is the one true God? Yahweh. How many gods are there? There is one God, three parts of Okay. It. When Jesus says, one true God, is he pointing to himself or his Father? Oh, is that the father? Yes. Okay. okay. So if, wait, 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 wait. I know she wants to interject. If Jesus is calling someone the one true God, yeah. and there is only one God. How can he be God? And there is only one God. <laughs> then how is he God? Your own Bible, there's no words that she quoted. Go second, sir. The words are right there, but you don't it's want It's not one of those. What words are there? You see, the reason you're jumping to verse 5 without addressing verse 3, it shows to me that you're not sincere. Because them earlier, you, earlier you said to me that you have to be sincere to find the truth. Now when the truth is telling you, yeah, Jesus you're is telling you. To me. I am. You have to you listen to everything. Okay, are you going to address verse 3? Okay, we have, have addressed it. If I okay, take what does verse God. 3 tell you when Jesus it's says, you, you the only true God? He's speaking to God as the Father because he is on earth yes. as a human being, but I see. he is still God. So how many gods are there? That There's means there are two God, gods. Three and, one. and which is the one true God? That's really good. Wait, wait. Yeah. Which is the one true God? You have the you see that? Your, your silence says it all. No, okay, hold on a minute. Yeah, we've got a fourth one coming. Only God is eternal no, in the Quran. Yeah. Say again? Is it true that only God is eternal in the Quran? Oh, sorry, do you want him to address that? Do you want him to address that? Yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm so, trying to control this conversation. Thank you very much. Keep it in, keep it in order. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to tip you later. Yeah. <laughs> we passed that a long time ago. Okay. Your question was with regards to fringe groups like the ISIS, why they're killing in the name of Islam. Is that what your question was? Part Have I got it correct? Okay. Verses. You see, okay, just the Quran, yeah. to us, those fringe groups are as much of Muslims as the Crusaders were Christians. Absolutely. That is your answer. That, that Anything else you want to add to that? No, because uh, when they do those things, they, yeah. they, it in the name of they do it in the name of Allah. Just like the Crusaders. But just like, yeah. just just like, like the any, Crusaders. anybody that takes so, something so out of context. I'm just asking, do you believe no. that they're we, not Muslim we, because they're look, taking look, things look. out of context? I'm oh, asking a yes, yes, they're definitely taking things out of context. There are, me. there are hundreds of fatawas, which What's is a fatwa? A, a fatwa, you know what the fatwa is? Yeah, fat, fatwa is a plural of fatwa. Okay, right. okay. there right. are hundreds of fatwas against them that what they are doing is A, not only inhuman but, but un Islamic. Because in the Quran, yes. in the Quran, there's a verse in Surah, in chapter 5, where Allah says, if you kill one man, it is as if you no, kill the whole of mankind. And if you kill, if you save one man, it is as if you have saved the whole of mankind. This is the principle advocated in the Quran. In the Quran, all those verses which he talk, which talks about fighting is in the context of war. You cannot just go and kill an innocent man, yes, or an innocent woman, or a child like it says in the Bible, or an infant like it says in the Bible. You will not find any children killing in the Quran or the Nothing, Hadith. Ever. The only Nothing killings like that you that. find in oh, there are based, of course, yes, yes please enough. do. Yeah, you can, you can. It's a challenge to anyone to show me children being killed in, in the, the Quran. Quran or the Hadith. Absolutely. This is this is a. You will find I th it. I think it's this is because you want to. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Yeah. You, look you know, look one thing I've realized yeah. is that Many Christians here, you yeah. can. You're always welcome to you ask. Know, you know, brother. One thing I've realized is that children killing is actually a monopoly of the Bible. No other holy book. No other book that claims to be from God advocates the killing of children except the Bible. And it's nothing like. And that you know what, Jesus? Quran. You guys say it's only in the Old Testament. Do you know what New Testament says? Open Matthew 15. You know what? Matthew chapter 15, in which Jesus says, anyone who disobeys, or basically, it's, it's, uh, uh, sorry, anyone who insults a parent shall be put to death. That's in chapter 15. Matthew love? chapter 15, that is your New Testament. Jesus, 1400 years so after you, Moses, he's telling the Muslims Jewish people, so, sorry, what's that? 
Oh, but we're, we're trying to discuss the scriptures exactly. here. If you're going to try and pick yeah. out no, no, individuals, no, you're, you're that's like a tit. That's what you're doing. Well, no, 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 because, no, because no, you're, no, you're no, actually saying. I gave you the reference. We're, we're talking scripture. about the scriptures here. Absolutely. We're talking about the scriptures here. So, if you're going to pick out individuals, then it's incorrect to do that because you're going to get everybody. Everybody knows there are good Muslims, bad Muslims, yes, good Jews. I said that. We know I said that. No, but you yeah. constantly, when you cite any examples, you seem to pick out Fringe individuals yeah. or individuals, and even if you, if you, you, you don't, you don't seem to. To cite anything from the scripture itself, which is contentious and a teaching which I do, goes I against. I find contentious. What I do find very difficult is to think why Muhammad would have married a six. Oh, I knew that. Was okay. okay, well let's address <laughs> that. So let's hell, address that because that is sex abuse. That is it? Well, well, I'm How old was Mary? Okay. Wait, wait, How old was that? Let's address. address that. How old was Mary when because she was pregnant? Do you know? 12, yes. Are you calling God a pedophile, making no, her pregnant? No, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There you go. No, that's what the Mormons say. Did Joseph marry Mary straight away? Joseph was 90 years old when Mary was 12. Was he a pedophile? Of course he was not. Go and read your history, that's a problem. You guys always point fingers at his Muslims and Islam, but when it comes to your religion, you don't read it even. He said, he said, what he said? that you were saying about how, you know, like if I was any, I found anything contentious. Yeah. And so I asked a question. Yeah, because you There's see. There's nothing wrong. If I come to Speaker's Corner, I have the right to just as much as you do. No, no, of course you do. Of course, of course, of course you do. Yes. So yes. You and we let you. And condemn me. No, no, we are not condemning you for that. I'm just saying. You have the right to say what you want here. It's a freedom of speech in this country here. Yeah. You can say what you want. So as much as you want to say what you want to say, you must respect that everybody else has the right to say that too. When did I say yes. you don't have the right no, to say? I'm we're, we're All I'm saying is right. do not use double That's standards. When you're going to, when you're going to bash Islam about something, no. make sure it's not I in your own book first. I, or in your own history. Exactly. I the question. Yes. And by the way, that is an anachronistic view which you're trying to portray here 1400 years ago to the 21st century. You're yes? telling me that people that, that live that in the Middle East that, that have. Yeah, it was common at that it. time to marry at a very young age. No, I'm like she saying, said, 12 I'm years old. Mary got, Mary got married at the age of 12 I'm to Joseph, who was 90 years old. Now, if that is pedophilia today, then I'm it should be also pedophilia that. back then. Absolutely not, because would you, you're would you talking about your different times, different rules. Like so then why do you, why do you find... Married. Of course, you, you wouldn't allow a 12-year-old to marry a 90-year-old, would you? Exactly. You wouldn't. Me okay. personally would not find it acceptable. Well, God didn't have an issue with it. A man to marry my daughter when she was six, I would not find I, that no, acceptable. No, but well, let's talk about the, the 90 and the 12. Would you find that? Would you? Would you find I, actually, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Would man. you find? Would you find it acceptable? It's not if, physically if, well, I think, no, no, wait, 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 okay, okay, wait. Would you find it acceptable to go around every door, knock on the door, take out a little infant and hack it to death? Would you find that acceptable? I wouldn't find that because acceptable. Because that is exactly what your God told. No that is what Jesus told in the Bible to do to the Jews Where? people. So, I just gave you 1 Samuel 15.3. No, 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 <laughs> Why are you shaking your head now? He did say that. Why are you shaking your head now? Why? I know you said that, but I am But you said you'll not find it acceptable. But you'll believe it anyway. Do you know what? I tell you what, we have to end this conversation only because when I try to say something... Yeah, I know, hit and run. Over, no, Here we go. You know, after, no, no, after no, no, she has been defeated in all her arguments, me. she you says, see, I'm shouting, I'm doing me. this, I'm doing you that, come on. Okay, 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 okay. What, you, what was you it you would like I've been listening to you and I've been responding to you. What is it you would like to say? All right, your platform is yours, madam. Because he doesn't let anybody talk. I do. I let you talk all the time. No, no, no. I let you make the points. He's passionate, he's passionate. No, no, I think you... No, you do, you do. Absolutely. Of course you do. So, so okay, brother. Him. So I go on. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm I'll control, control my brother. brother. I'll control my brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go ahead. Please come forward so we can all hear what. You Are you a Christian? Let's start with that first. No, you're not I Christian. Want to ask you, well, I'm Christian, Jewish, but anyway. I want to ask you you make up your mind. Kind of, no, Jewish or Christian? Christian or Jewish? Jewish Sorry, you're? Jewish messianic. You're a messianic Jew, yes. which means you're a Christian who believes Jesus yes. is the Messiah. So you're a Christian, basically. Carry on. I want to ask you, because I never actually read the Quran or understand. Well, I was asking people who actually yeah. are Muslim, but I never understood what exactly you believe that Jesus, or who you believe that Jesus is. Oh, very good question, actually. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Okay. Fantastic question. question. You see, in fact, in the belief of Jesus, yes, the Christians and the Muslims agree on almost everything except the fact that Jesus in Christianity, actually, let's, let's use all the three religions. You see, the Jews completely reject Jesus. The Christians, they go to the other extreme, raise him to the level of God. The Muslims take the middle ground. We neither reject him nor raise him to the level of God. 
We respect and revere him as the Messiah, as being born of a virgin, as being one of the mightiest messengers of God, as being one of the righteous men, as being sinless, as being someone who proclaimed the belief in one God and who himself worshipped one God. Because in the Bible, you'll see him kneeling on his, on his feet and 